All right, in this video, I'm going to troubleshoot this uh, Mercury trim pump. Uh, it's set up on an inboard Merc Cruiser. And right now, if I go to here for the solenoid, I activate it, nothing. I come back down here, try to get to the bottom solenoid with my power probe, which is the best tool on the planet to troubleshoot electrical. I can barely get to it, especially with one hand. Try to do it. Nothing. But the problem isn't that the solenoids are bad. The problem is that here, I've only got eight bolts max. And so the wire that feeds this trim pump is coming from up here. There's a junction here where all these wires are coming off of. And this one right here is what's feeding the trim pump. So it's only giving it eight, nine volts. And it's because the wire is corroded internally, which happens a lot here on these boats that are exposed to salt water. So now what I'm gonna do is I got a little jumper wire here. I'm gonna take this jumper wire that I know I've got good 12 volts coming off of it. I'm gonna put it right there and we're gonna try it again. And we'll see, we got that. All right, that's good. Oh, that thing came off. We'll try the bottom one now. See if I can get this thing to stay. It's so hard to work on these boats, man, when there's hardly any room for me to fit in here. We got now. Yeah, got ground. All right. Come on, baby. All right. So a lot of times these solenoids do go bad, but in this case, it wasn't the solenoids. It's actually the power being fed to it. So always remember to troubleshoot thoroughly before you start replacing parts.